In this video, we're going to show you how to create a school composite with Pixel Creator Pro. Now, school composites aren't typically something we would do with Pixel Creator Pro, but certainly the tools are in here to allow you to facilitate creating a photo composite uh, for a class composite very easily. So first things first, we have to determine our overall page size. Now we do actually have a bunch of pre-built uh, class composite templates that come with Pixel Creator Pro, but uh, this one we're going to create from scratch. So we're going to do an 11 by 14 document with one inch guidelines around the perimeter, like so. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a selection. And then I'm going to use our guides tool here uh, inside Pixel Creator Pro. And from the bottom, we're going to come up a half of an inch. And we'll see why here momentarily. Now we'll go ahead and make a selection using these new guidelines that we just created. And we're going to come in here and use our Quick Divide tool. So let's go ahead and use Quick Divide. And what Quick Divide will allow us to do is it divides up a selection. So for this example, we're going to do a vertical division of 4 with 0.65 inches between layers. Horizontally, we're going to do six uh, horizontal divisions with a quarter inch spacing between. And for this example, we're going to do create guidelines and create a vertical center guidelines. And so we'll go ahead and hit divide. And you'll see what kind of results we get here. So what Pixel Creator Pro has done is it's divided up our selection. Now it probably doesn't look like much right now, but it'll all start to make more sense here momentarily. So what we're going to do is go to our fixed ratio, and I like to use 4 by 6 openings for my class composites. You can actually use whatever you like, but what we're going to do here is come in here, and we're going to make a selection, and this uh, opening here is exactly a 4-6 ratio. And then I'll just choose the Add Aperture tool here in Pixel Creator, and what that does is it creates a blank image layer. Now I am going to change the default red stroke to make it black. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's make it about five pixels. So the layer styles could be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be something specific. All right. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to add a text label. Let me just zoom in a little bit tighter here. So we have our image layer here. So under the layout tools, we actually have a text label option. And we're going to click the text label for uh, the outside. And it'll automatically create a text layer uh, directly centered below our image layer. Now from here, all we're going to do is copy this one on over. Now the reason we created these center guidelines, and watch what happens here, as I make duplicates here inside Photoshop, they'll just snap right into that center guideline. And that's why we created those. See how quick and easy that is? And then we can take this whole line and just go ahead and copy it right on down. Now all I'm doing is using that little magic uh, shortcut of making a selection and then holding down my alt key or option key for you Mac folks and just repositioning them all in place there. Oops, didn't get that last one. There we go. All right, so now we have all of our grid. Now the reason, remember, we created that extra half inch guideline at the bottom and that's because, so we wanted a nice one inch border all the way around and so we came up an extra half an inch to allow for that text. Otherwise, if we didn't, that text would be below our one inch border. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out our guidelines. Now let's go over into bridge here for a moment. So typically what you're going to have is you're going to have a bunch of images um, that you've taken. Um, and what we did is we kind of organized these um, and put a prefix in front of them. 01 Brady Anderson dot JPEG. 02 Tyra Beecher, etc., etc. So that the 01 uh, we actually put these in alphabetical order going across. Now I'm just going to select six image openings here and come back into Photoshop. Now, there are some options in Pixel Creator Pro that's going to help facilitate uh, doing the layout. And you're going to find it right here under Preferences. And one of those options is to turn off the transform function. The other option we want to turn on is the set image option. And then the other options that we want to turn on are the remove extensions and trim digits. Okay, so what that's going to do is going to remove that numerical prefix the 01, 02, 03, and it's also going to remove the extension of whatever the extension is. So in this case, it's .jpeg, it could be .psd, .tiff, whatever the case might be, right? So we'll go ahead and apply those settings. 
And now we're ready to populate our layout. So I'm going to just make a selection of the first six image openings. And if we look here in the layers palette, you can see those layers are in fact selected. And then I'm just going to choose the insert photo tool. And what Pixel Creator Pro is going to do, it's going to analyze our layer stack, determine which layers are selected. And then based on those selected layers, it's going to begin inserting our images. So it does take just a second to do. But once it's done that, then it'll start taking those images one by one from Bridge and dropping it into our layout. So each image will be opened individually and resized to fit the opening. So you can see it's begun its work. And then as, once the image is placed, it's going to update the file name. As you can see, uh, the first one's been populated. And notice it just says Brady Anderson. There's no .jpg and there's no numerical prefix. So if we wanted to select all the image openings, then we certainly could and just go have lunch. And when we come back, all of our images would be placed for us. So it certainly makes creating these types of layouts as daunting as they are because sometimes you know I had I had one guy call the other day and he was doing a hundred images uh, so you have a hundred different layers um, actually 200 layers because you'd have your your image layer a hundred image layers plus he had a hundred text layers to boot um, but that's basically how it works now the other thing I've seen too is we don't have to have each of these image openings the same size so I've seen class composites where like the two middle ones here at the top row had the principal and the teacher of the class and all the rest of the image openings um, were of students so certainly you could uh, make a couple of the image openings larger if we wanted to and then we could populate those accordingly so a lot of flexibility there but that's how you would create a class composite with pixel creator pro not only getting the composite laid out but also being able to populate it now if you're doing like a dance team or something like that these image openings keep in mind don't have to be rectangular they can be whatever you want them to be so if you want to use an oval shape or um, you know you want them to have some kind of a edge effect applied to it or if you want them in the shape of stars I mean really whatever whatever the layer is that's what the image is going to be resized to so you can do like we did where we uh, simply made a selection and and choose the add aperture or we could certainly have come in here and even into our custom shape tool and we could have picked like um, let's just choose um, a different set here so we could have chosen like this little stamp here, for example. And if we wanted that for an image opening, we certainly could have had that nice little stamp shape for an image opening. So a lot of flexibility there. Uh, you just have to kind of use your imagination when you're laying out these class composites. I should also point out too that the font that we use is kind of a default Arial font, um, but certainly you could change that font when you when after you place that first text label you could change the font you could add a layer style to the font you could change the color of the font whatever the case might be and then go ahead and make your copies and of course all the other copies um, would have that exact same uh, characteristics as the first one so really you have limitless options you could also even come in here and the background let's just make a selection quick and choose add aperture you could actually add an image opening to the background of the class composite and drop in a texture file or something like that too or maybe a background picture of the school or something so a lot of different options there um, so at any rate that's kind of the basics of working with a class composite here inside pixel creator pro